So, we will now look at applications of semi groups to the study of evolution equations. So, we start with the heat equation. So, let omega in Rn be a bounded open set, bounded domain d omega equal to gamma. The heat equation is given by du by dt minus Laplacian u equal to 0 in omega cross 0 infinity. So, this omega refers to the x. So, u is a function of x and t. So, x is in omega and t will be positive. Okay. So, with appropriate boundary conditions. So, so, this the heat equation with variations thereof occur in several physical phenomena involving diffusion. It is the simplest example of a parabolic differential equation. In case of the heat equation, u represents the temperature of a body which uh, and the boundary uh, and is a function of x is in omega and time t greater than 0. The boundary conditions depend on uh, the uh, physical situation which we are considering. If we maintain gamma maintained at fixed temperature, then you have a Dirichlet boundary condition. And if gamma is thermally isolated, with no heat exchange with the external thing, then we have a Neumann boundary condition. Okay. So, in, uh, if in case the system reserves heat from an external source, then the 0 on the right hand side of the equation will have a, a inhomogeneous term f of x t which will depend on the heat source which we are supporting. So, we will assume now that omega is sufficiently smooth. and that uh, gamma maintained at fixed temperature say u equal to 0, we maintain it at the 0 temperature. Then we have the following initial boundary value problem. So, you have d2 d by dt of u of x t minus Laplacian u of x t equal to 0 in omega cross 0 infinity u of x t equals 0 on gamma cross 0 infinity. So, it is for all time it is kept at 0 temperature and the initial temperature which we have to specify is u0 of x, x is in omega. Okay, so, we will study this in the framework of semi groups. So, we have the following theorem. Let u0 belong to L2 of omega. So, we are having very rough initial data. Then there exists a unique solution of star. So, this is the star which is the heat equation such that u belongs to C of 0 infinity with values in L2 of omega intersection C1 of 0 infinity with values in L2 of omega intersection C of 0 infinity with values in H2 omega intersection H10 of omega. Further, for every epsilon 
positive u belongs to c infinity of epsilon infinity cross omega bar okay so so you see the heat equation you have u0 is just a l2 function but the solution for positive time is c1 and it has takes values in h2 intersection h10 so u of t will belong to h2 intersection h10 as soon as t is positive and furthermore if you take epsilon infinity cross omega bar if you don't if you don't go near zero the function is infinitely differentiable instantaneously however rough the initial data is instantaneously this solution becomes infinitely smooth so proof so you take v equals l2 of omega so this is our hilbert space a from da contained in v to b is given by d of a equal to h2 of omega intersection h10 of omega and laplacian u a sorry a u equals laplacian of u okay u in d a okay then the star equation can be written as u dash t equals a of u t t positive and u of 0 equals u 0 okay so this is the equation here du by dt equals laplacian u so that is u dash t is equal to a of u t u belonging to uh, h1 0 so it is 0 on the boundary and then uh, its initial value is u0 okay so you have this okay so then you have uh, then we know that a is self adjoint we have already seen this and we also have that integral on omega Laplacian u times u dx is equal to minus integral grad u square dx which is less than or equal to 0 for all u in d of a. So, since you have h1 0 there is no boundary term. Also if you have i minus a of u is nothing but u minus Laplacian u equal to f in L2 of omega. Okay. So, then u is in h10 of omega then we know that this has a unique solution by lax milgram lemma u in h10 and also u belongs to h2 of omega by regularity. Therefore, u belongs to h2 intersection h10 of omega that is equal to d of a and you have i minus a u of a equal to f for every f in L2 of omega. Okay. So, hence you have that this so a is self adjoint and maximal dissipative. and therefore result follows follows from abstract theory so for any u0 in the uh, space you can solve the heat equation with uh, we have seen that completely okay d of a power k is nothing but you can check this u is in h 2k of omega such that u equals Laplacian u equal to etc equal to Laplacian k minus 1 u equal to 0 on gamma. Okay. So, if u belongs to d of a k for all k then by Sobolev implies that u belongs to c infinity. Okay. And this is true. So, we have seen that if u is in u naught is in v then u belongs to c k of 
epsilon uh, open sorry 0 infinity with d of a power j for all j and k ok. So, we have seen this regularity theorem I did not prove it and therefore, this implies that u belongs to c infinity of z epsilon uh, epsilon infinity cross omega bar for every epsilon positive. So, by this over f embedding theorem ok. So, So, remark. So, Dirichlet condition embedded in definition of dA. So, you know that this is essential boundary condition. So, we have to impose it. So, in the definition of dA itself, we have built it in. If it were a Neumann condition, we, this would not have been necessary, not necessary for Neumann condition. So, an important thing to note is however rough the initial data u0 is, the solution uxt, so however rough u0 in L2 of omega, u of xt smooth for every t positive, ok. So, this is called the strong regularizing effect. of the heat operator. Heat operator is d by dt minus delta ok. So, this uh, strongly regularizing. So, if you moment you solve it instantaneously the solution becomes very very smooth. In particular heat equation is irreversible in time ok. So, that is d u by d t minus Laplace in u equal to 0 in omega cross 0 t let us say and then u of x t equal to 0 on gamma cross 0 t and u of x t. So, you give the final value u t of x. So, has no solution in general. Because we know that if u naught the time at time 0 it is however rough instantaneously it must be smooth. So, it is necessary in particular u t must belong to d of a power k for all k ok and even that and delta k of u should be 0 for all k on gamma. And even if all this is there, it is not necessary that the you, you can solve the heat equation backwards in time. So, you need something extremely smooth functions only. So, given an L2 function, there is no hope to solve this equation backwards. Now, this irreversibility in time can also be seen from the formula for the heat equation if omega equals Rn. For instance, if you have omega equals Rn, so remark. We have already seen this formula u of x t equals 1 by 4 pi t to the n by 2 of integral on R n e power minus mod x minus y square by 4 t u 0 of y dy. So, the Fourier transform u tilde xi t with respect to the x variable. So, then why I put a tilde there? So, this is equal to Fourier transform with respect to x ok that is equal to e power minus 4 pi square mod xi square t u0 hat xi ok and if t is less than 0 this is not a tempered distribution. 
it is not of slow growth ok it is not it is of it grows exponentially fast and therefore this is not a tempered distribution so we cannot invert the Fourier transform ok. So, this is the reason why we cannot solve the heat equation backwards. Now, if uh, we have already seen infinite speed of propagation of signals so u not greater or equal to 0 compact support implies u of x t is strictly positive for all t positive for all x in r n ok. So, this is a comes from this formula uh, which we have here and therefore, this is called the infinite speed of propagation of signals ok. Ok, so this is we will uh, this is about the heat equation how we solve for any data and then we have infinite smoothness it just comes from the theory of semi groups for uh, maximal dissipative self adjoint operators.